Right then, welcome back to another Alien update. I haven't done one of these in so, 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 so long. And it does seem a little bit strange that it is kind of in conjunction with Alien Day that this information has come out. Now, you read the title. This comes from Ridley Scott, the ever contradictory man. And the previous updates I've done on this all basically pointed towards him very, very, very determined to replace the Xenomorph in the Alien franchise. I know, how crazy. Let's remove the Alien from the Alien franchise, because that's a real smart move. And he's, he's said it numerous times in interviews, but now, in an interview with Yahoo, he's completely changed it. Now, he states as follows. In my career, which has been pretty long, there's only been, with the greatest respect for the people I've worked with, two real, real originals. Funnily enough, I came across a guy called H.R. Giga, and if I hadn't got that monster, you would not have had that movie. I saw the drawing, the drawing was drawn for the book, not the film, and I was so kind of taken. I flew to Switzerland where he lived because he didn't want to get the plane as he was scared of flying. It wouldn't have been the same movie. Whilst the cast was wonderful, with Sigourney Weaver and Harry Dean Stanton and those people, but without the eighth passenger, it wouldn't have been the same film. What I'm trying to say is that there are rarities. There are those ideas that occur once in a while, not that often, but when they do, you grab them and hang on to them. Now, for starters, it's really important to point out that it was actually Dan O'Bannon's idea for HR Giga to jump on board. So I'm not really sure where Ridley Scott's talking about this. Uh, yes, he may have flown over to him, but it was actually Dan O'Bannon that put the two in contact. So that's a little bit out there in terms of how he's remembering his own history. But secondly, complete 180 on uh, on the comments of the Xenomorph. Ridley Scott was very, very adamant to say, the beast is done, the beast is cooked. That was a direct quote. And now he's saying it's a rarity. It is something that you grab onto and you don't replace. It's original, this, that, and the other. So it is really, really surprising. To be perfectly honest, I just think this is because it's going to be Alien Day in seven days' time, and he may have been told by Fox to say some nice things about the alien. It is quite interesting, though, and obviously a lot of people will now jump on this and point to the fact that now the next movie will feature heavily the Xenomorph and basically all of this. It... It's unlikely. We, we're not going to be getting that film for a really, really long time uh, because Ridley Scott is working on some Merlin projects for Disney and also the deal between Disney and Fox will also kind of get in the way of this working, I think, for a little while. But also Ridley Scott's busy. He's not going to be doing anything. He, he has projects lined up where he now cannot commit to a new Alien film. So I thought I would just bring this news to you because I do find it quite interesting that he has now just done a complete 180 on what he's been saying for several months. And also I, I did find it somewhat offensive that he is now saying that he was the one that uh, brought HR Giga into the fold. It wasn't. It wasn't really Scott. It was Dan O'Bannon, the guy who wrote the screenplay for Alien. So I thought I'd bring you this, also a little bit of a course correction on, on his quote because it needs to be said. That's, you know, journalistic integrity. And uh, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think about this? Are you interested in this? Are you uh, ever surprised by the man that always tends to contradict himself? That is Ridley Scott. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Check out all my other content. There's quite a lot on offer. If you're not a patron already, but you do want to take your support to the next level and help me continue in my efforts to entertain and you know run a good channel for you guys, then do check out my patron via the uh, link in the description box. There are patron-only playthroughs and patron-only live streams, and there's quite an interesting tier set up, so do check it out. And as always, guys, I've been Mr. H. Until next time, I will catch you in the comment section.